Hi, welcome to layering. What can we get for you? I'll be giving a crash course style guide to creative layering. These are the basics and every single creative layered outfit I make combines one or more of these techniques. You can also combine these ideas together very easily to create even more layered outfits. I will quickly be discussing fashion history, but you can skip it below in the timestamps and then I'm going to go through each individual clothing item. Next time you see a New York City fashion student being grilled online for wearing 13 layers, think about this. Layering has been around for a very long time and has been used for a ton of different reasons other than just keeping warm and for the outside. Let's discuss a few purposes throughout history. Before Dr. Miami was giving out BBLs on Snapchat every day, people recreated different fashion silhouettes through layering. A great example of this would be during the Victorian and Edwardian era. A lot of layering techniques in women's fashion became very popularized for modesty purposes and still are used to this day by many religious and cultural communities around the world. The US military also has some history in layering. In 1943, the M43 uniform kit was introduced and had multiple layers which included, and I quote, an undershirt, a long sleeve flannel shirt, and a sweater. At this time, L.L. Bean allegedly worked as a wartime consultant on a equipment and clothing design. Yes, that LL Bean. I could sit here forever talking about history, so let's get into layering some tops. A vest over a shirt. It can be any shirt, a short sleeve, long sleeve, sweater, or collared shirt. It adds a new element into an outfit, and it usually doesn't make an outfit that much warmer unless you're wearing a winter puffer vest. I really like to match my vest color or texture to the color texture of the bottom half of my outfit. Also, I just wanted to mention that there's absolutely nothing in that bag. It's completely empty, and I definitely should have added something in it, at least for the video, but it matches really well with the outfit, so. Layering a tank top over another shirt. This is really simple, and sometimes Sometimes I'll even use bathing suit tops for this. I've even layered two different tank tops that have different necklines or are slightly different from each other. It looks really nice if you have a tank top with some interesting cutouts or lace detailing. Layering an off the shoulder sweater over a top. This is kind of Andy from Devil Wears Prada inspired. I think this is such a fun look, especially in the colder months because your shoulders will probably be really cold anyways. Pretty easy to make any clothing item off the shoulder. If a top has buttons, just don't button the top view, pull it down, and then it looks off the shoulder. Also side note, I have no clue where I should wear this outfit to. I'm going back to school so I I guess I could wear it to school maybe with a longer skirt. I don't know, let me know what you think. Layering a see-through shirt over or under another shirt. This is a little difficult to explain, but it's really great for summer pieces that you wanna use throughout the year. I also love when the texture of the see-through top layer is different than the rest of the fabrics in the outfit. I feel like it makes your outfit so much more interesting and it adds maybe the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little bit of extra warmth. I also think this is really fun to do with a monochromatic look. I'm gonna call this one cropped on cropped, but basically just any two shirts that have different lengths together. People wearing like a button up shirt and then they tuck it into like a corset. I'm gonna put a picture, it's hard to explain. I've talked about this one before, but it's a puff sleeve layered with a collared shirt and a corset. Corset optional though. It also doesn't have to be a collared shirt. The idea is as you add on new layers, you add on a layer that's smaller than the one before. For example, technically a t-shirt would be smaller than a long sleeve shirt. One thing about me is I wear skirts constantly, so let's get into layering some. A dress over a skirt. This can be done with mini skirts or longer skirts. I like to wear a lot of my skirts as dresses because it doubles my closet and I always add a bra on top just to make sure it doesn't fly off in the middle of conversation. Personally, I really like to do this layering technique when I have a bodycon dress just because it fits really well with a skirt underneath it. Normally, I just don't really gravitate that much to bodycon dresses on their own. I like them to be styled and layered with things, so that's why I usually do that, but I'm sure it would work with any kind of dress. You can also layer a skirt over a dress. I always do this with this specific dress for some reason. I'm not sure why. I always start by rolling up the sleeves just because I like the look of that a little bit better. And then I always tie the collar together. I like this technique a lot for mini skirts and shorter dresses because sometimes I don't love the look of a shorter dress on its own and I want to add something different into an outfit. So I do this. Also in my head, if I don't have a bag or shoe option that matches the dress, I like to have a skirt on top of the dress so that I can match the bag and the shoes to the skirt. Technically, this skirt doesn't really match with the bag or shoes, but I like to mix denim and black together. And if you don't like that, you really need to get a grip because it's really not that crazy. One mini and one longer skirt together. I usually like when the mini skirt fits me a bit tighter and then the longer skirt is more flowy, sheer, asymmetrical, but I know a lot of people don't really like that outfit. You can also layer two skirts of similar lengths with different cutouts, that way both of the skirts show. This skirt would be really cute pinned up, but I decided to not do that. Instead, I layered it underneath this denim maxi skirt with a big cutout in the front. I really like to layer things underneath this skirt because I like to match the underneath layer to the top I'm wearing. People hate the denim maxi skirt look. I think that the accessories that you wear and how you style your hair has a lot to play with how much you like it. I also like to layer two skirts with similar lengths that don't have different cutouts. For this style, I also like to pin up the skirts together to create more of an exaggerated look, but 
but it depends what you're going for. When I wear this top skirt, I am a nice princess in my head, so for this look, I definitely would pin them up to make it super exaggerated. I didn't include my own styling for this, but you can also wear a skirt on top of pants. I know this is a little controversial, but I think it looks really good if it's styled correctly. Now let's get into my second favorite clothing item, which is dresses. Layering a corset harness over a dress. Like I said earlier, I'm not the biggest fan of just a bodycon dress on its own, and I feel like a corset or harness can bring a lot of structure to a dress, and you can also do this with the skirt tip I was talking about earlier as wearing longer skirts as dresses. I'm also extremely guilty of whenever I add a corset over a dress, I always have to add a belt. I'm really not sure why, I just always think it looks better. I love to layer a sweater underneath or over a dress. I'm layering this off the shoulder sweater slightly underneath the dress so it looks like this is just a winter dress and that's how it came. Or maybe that's going a little too far, but it definitely makes it more suitable for colder weather. You can layer a shorter dress over a longer dress. You can do this however you'd like, but I really like to do it when it's two dresses that are pretty similar to each other aside from length. So that way when you put them together, it's just a long layered dress. And if you want to go crazy, you can even pop another skirt underneath the dresses. Now you can layer pretty much any top over a dress, but I really like the idea of layering a dress that doesn't really make sense to layer with a top. Like for example, a really baggy graphic tee with a really fancy dress. It just looks really cool. This isn't the greatest example, but layering two dresses with almost a similar length, but a little bit of difference looks really nice as well. This part depends on the difference in length between the dresses, but I like to pin one of them up so that it looks like one dress with interesting detailing, but I also really like the way it just looks on its own. Maybe I'm going crazy, but I think it looks cute when it's not pinned up. I showed you an example of wearing a sweater under a dress, so now I'm gonna show you wearing a sweater over a dress. Basically, it just looks like you're wearing a skirt, but if you don't have any skirts in your closet that would match well with the top you're wearing, you can just wear a dress and it looks like a skirt and nobody's really Really gonna know. I also have no clue why I included so many fast forward clips of me getting ready. <laughs> I don't know if those are, are those fun to watch? Cause I see videos like that sometimes and I don't know. Best part about this layering technique is that you can wear this kind of outfit in the daytime. And then if you have a party or something more formal to go to at night, rip off your sweater, shove it in your purse and call it a night. You can layer tights for warmth, but also it's so fun to pair different tights together in interesting ways, especially those cutout tights that are really popular right now. I think layering a printed or colored tight underneath that makes it really cool. All I'm saying is there's been a rise in cool tights the past few years and we need to take advantage of that more. Lastly, I'm just going to quickly talk about layering coats. Layering a vest over a jacket. Stop thinking of coats as your last layer. A lot of times it feels wrong to layer something over your last layer, but I think it makes it more fun to wear a jacket and vests look really good over coats. I want to clarify, I mean just anything that's your last layer wearing a vest over that. I know this is a blazer, but it could be a blazer, coat, jacket, whatever. Layering two different lengths of coats together. I really love wearing this Kim Shui faux fur jacket, but I swear I can never find anything that works for it in the colder weather until I realized you could just layer a longer jacket on top. Now it looks really good and it also matches my shoes. And I love how the fur perfectly peeps out. I also wanted to really quickly say thank you guys so much for watching and I'm gonna have a Pinterest board linked down below which is gonna include some of the reference pictures I showed you and a couple more. I also unprivated a bunch of my Pinterest boards so that you can look through there if that's something that interests you. I have a video already on my YouTube channel talking about different outfit combinations and I really wanna make a part two to that so let me know if that's something you wanna see. In that video I did show some of the layering techniques I talked about today so if you're looking for further outfit reference aside from Pinterest, I show a few different things in there as well. When I looked up creative layering on YouTube, I found two other YouTube videos about this that I thought were pretty interesting. And I'm going to link those two creators down below and definitely check them out.